Okay, so just recapping, I have created some uh, a little project here with some moving images, a still image, I've got a title, and I've got some audio, and it's all happening. Let's pretend that this is a finished product. It's not really at this stage, but let's pretend it is. And what I like to do when I'm going to export my finished product is I like to set up an endpoint at the start, so I know I'm going to export exactly from the start. And let's say the finished product finishes just there. Normally we go right to the end of a sequence, but wherever the out point is, that's the, the distance that we're actually going to, or the, the amount of footage we're actually going to export into something usable in some sort of video format. So the process to export is to go to File, and go to Export, Media, and then you get to choose a whole range of different types of, of codecs, different types of formats, and it gets really quite complicated, but if you choose something like QuickTime, then you've got a whole range of different types of QuickTime. You can go to really high def at, uh, at 1080, or still a high def at 720. Uh, probably best to go to 1080 and then you can get a really good quality version of it. And if you click on out point name and click on it, this is where you name your file. I'm going to call it John, and notice it's going to be a QuickTime movie file. And this is where I'm going to save it. I like to actually create an exports folder in my project folder. So I'm going to go back to my project folder, which is this one here and go into it, and I'm going to create a new folder called Exports. This is where I put all my finished output product. So this is going to be a John, I'm going to call this one John HD, so it's John High Definition at 1080, save. And then once I've got that set up, so I've got the actual format, I know it's QuickTime, I know it's going to be High Definition, I know the name is going to be John HD, then I just jump down here to where it says Export, and I'll click Export, and it starts to export it. Because it's only short, it's not going to take too long at all. Now if I jump to my project folder now, you can see I've got uh, my exports folder and there it is. If I open that up with QuickTime, you'll see a really high res version so most of, your props of my project. If I jump back to Premiere again, and I'm just going to export it in a different way this time. So I'm going to go to uh, File and Export. And this time, instead of going to really high res, let's, let's go to an MP4. Because this time it's going to be like a low res version that I want to put onto YouTube. Something that's going to be easy to work with on the internet. So I'm going to choose an MP4. And uh, it gives me a couple of options there. Stick with stick with this one so it's not, it's not really small. It's, um, it's still big enough to go on a, on a reasonably big screen. Again, I'm going to name it. Notice if I, if I click on John's name there, I can just change it from high def to uh, LD or low def or, or whatever. And so I've just changed that. Notice the extension is 3GP, which is a form of MPEG-4, and then click Save. So I've got my MPEG-4 low res. I've got uh, the name of the file, and uh, I know it's pointing in the right folder at that point. And then I just click Export. And now it's just going to do a quick Render. Notice with, with Premiere you don't have to render it too, it does the rendering for you, uh, which is a little bit unique uh, with Final Cut for instance, you do have to render quite a bit before you actually get to export, or even when you just want to preview while you're building it, you have to render Premiere, you don't need to, which is really cool. I'm going to jump to my exports folder and now you notice I've got a high res version, and I've got a low res version, if I open that up with QuickTime you'll see it's a bit smaller, it doesn't look as good, but it'll be a lot easier to manage when I'm working online.